So you can spread out in a symmetrical, relaxed position. And either close your eyes or take a soft gaze up towards the ceiling. And begin to slow down your breath. Just feel whatever's here right now, whatever physical sensation you're aware of. Your mental, emotional state. Your energetic level. perhaps exactly how it is, is the perfect place to begin from, just like this. You're welcome to keep your eyes closed or open them as it's useful for you throughout your practice. Let's begin by sliding arms overhead and stretching out long through your arms and legs, reaching through your fingers and your toes. And then interlace your fingers and press out through your palms and flex your feet, reaching through the heels of your hands, the heels of your feet. Mm. And then release and bring your right knee to your chest. Give that knee a good squeeze in, maybe a little jiggle or rock, releasing deep into your hip crease. Mm. And then straighten your right leg up towards the ceiling, holding somewhere behind your leg. Flex and point your foot a few times. Circle your ankle, a couple big circles, as big as you can make. Feeling the effect of what you do. So we're not just going through the motions, but really taking it in. Bend your knee back in. Open your knee out to the right. And then straighten part way or all the way out to the side. Exploring your limits, your edges, right where they are. Hmm. Feeling this, whatever this is, welcoming it. And then release, bend your knee and bring it across, spinal twist. First with a bent knee. And staying in your twist, try straightening your right leg on a low diagonal, right arm on a high diagonal. So the fingers and toes reach away from one another. You might move the sensation to different parts of your body by moving your body. And then release, roll back onto your back. Bring both knees in. And take a little circle or rock with your knees, massaging the lower back and sacrum into the floor. Mm. And then grab hold of just the left knee, drop the right leg long, 
Squeeze this knee in close, as close as you can. And then straighten this leg up. Flex and point. Deep flex, full point. A couple of big circles. Feeling the effect of what you do, both directions. <sighs> Bend your knee back in, open your knee out to the left, and then straighten part way or all the way out to the side, grounding down through the back of your right leg. And then release, bend your knee, bring it across, spinal twist. First with a bent knee. And then try straightening the left leg on a low diagonal, left arm on a high diagonal. Release, roll back onto your back. Bring both knees in, circle or rock. <sighs> Drop your feet to the floor. Let's get set up for some core work. Start by drawing your belly in. Press the lower back down from the inside. Keep this going strongly. You could just be engaging the core here without doing anything else. And then let's cross the right leg on top of the left with shins parallel to the floor and ceiling. Interlace fingers behind your head. Exhale, lift head and chest up. So this is pretty much it. And then we'll just add a very small movement. Each time you exhale, squeeze the legs together and up. As you inhale, release that. So shoulders stay off the floor the whole time. Belly drawing in the whole time. And then this subtle, small movement, pretty intense, but not a lot going on. So squeezing belly in. Each exhale, legs together and up. Let's take two more like this. Last one. Release your head down. Now place your hands at the front of the right thigh and we're gonna push the hands into the legs and push the legs back into the hands. So you're just matching your own resistance and you can decide how much pressure. Maybe a little bit more than what's comfortable. Draw the belly in. As you're doing this, can you still relax your eyes, relax your jaw, nice firm pressure. Last breath, and then release, unwind. Other side, left leg on top, interlace fingers behind the head, lift your head and chest up, and then each exhale, squeeze the legs together and up. As you inhale, release that squeeze, but keep the shoulders off the floor, keep the belly drawing in strongly. <sighs> One more. Release, head down, hands to the front of the left thigh. Push your hands into your legs, push your legs into your hands, matching your own resistance, experimenting with how much pressure. Couple more seconds. And then release. 
Drop your feet to the floor. Interlace fingers behind the head one more time. And then just simply exhale, lift the head and chest. <laughs> Inhale, release it down. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Let's take two more like this. Last one, just as high. And then release. Stretch long through your arms and legs. Bring your knees in. Circle a rock. And then make your way up to sitting. And let's come on to the forearms for a forearm plank. So we'll measure off the elbows so they're just shoulder width apart. Place the forearms down, parallel. And then step your feet back and see if you can find where the hips are even with the shoulders. Not dipping, not lifting, but right in line. It sometimes helps me to shift forward and back and feel like my body is moving on a track. Head, hips, shoulders, and heels all connected with one another. Whole underside lifting, shins, thighs, belly, chest. Last breath here. Let's move over to one forearm, side plank. Your feet can be one in front of the other for a little more stability, or you might stack them one on top of the other. Connecting the end points, top hand reaching away from the bottom elbow, top of the head reaching away from the soles of the feet. One more breath here. Release, switch sides. In this strong, dynamic pose, can there be a sense of surrender? Just like when you're in Shavasana. Can the breath be steady? Can you find ease when it's like this? Last breath here. Release. And then make your way to child's pose. Letting the weight of your body settle towards the floor. Letting go of everything we've just done, everything we might do. With arms out in front of you, walk your hands over to the left and then pull back through your right hip, stretching right side a little more. Walk your hands around through center and over to the other side. Pull back through your left hip, stretching left side a bit more. Walk hands back to center. Hmm. Lift up through table. 
And into downward facing dog. Tuck the toes, lift the hips up and back. And you might pedal out the feet a little bit here, bending one knee as you press the opposite heel towards the floor. Waking up your calves, your hamstrings, your feet. Maybe check your hands, that fingers are spread, flat, active. Check on all the things you know to check in on. And then walk your hands and feet towards one another. And let's hang in ragdoll. Feet hip width apart, parallel. You can bend your knees a little or a lot. You might take a sway or shake out here. <sighs> Bend your knees a little more and then slowly roll up, coming all the way up to standing. Stepping up to the front of the mat, mountain pose. Tadasana, we'll bring hands together at the heart. Let's take a full A-series sun salutation. Next inhale, arms sweep high. Exhale, fold forward, swan dive down. Inhaling, flat back. Step or hop your feet back. Lower down. Now come into your back bend and feel free to take an extra couple breaths in this first one. So it could be just a little baby cobra, kind of testing the waters. You might come up higher, feeling what's possible, what's interesting. Wherever you are, shoulders down, away from the ears. Nice long neck. And then back to down dog when you're ready, hips high. Hmm, let's take five deep breaths in a good resting pose for you. That could be down dog, but it could just as well be child's pose or sitting or any other neutral shape. Hmm. One more breath here. Come back through down dog and step or hop your feet forward, inhaling flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up to standing. Exhale, arms press down. Again, inhale, arms high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Step or hop back, lower down. Up dog or cobra, and back to down dog. Please take the time you need. You don't have to move at my pace, move at your pace. From down dog, when you're ready, right leg sweeps up, bend your knee to your chest, and start circling this bent right knee, making the biggest circle possible for your hip joint. Letting the hips open and close in response to the circle. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight. And then bring your right knee towards right upper arm. Extend it up and back. Take it across towards left upper arm. Reach it up and back. Right towards the center of your chest. Send it up and back. Big step forward, high lunge. Take your time, adjust your footing, 
When you're ready, arms sweep high, hips sink low. Let's grab the left wrist and take it over for a side bend. Same thing other side, grab your right wrist, take it across. Back to center. Interlace fingers behind your back. Lift the heart, hips low, chest high. Release arms up. Tip forward, standing splits, hands to the floor or to a couple of blocks. We'll do this with hips square and with the upper body letting go. Stretch that left leg as straight and long and high as you can. But let it be just where it gets. <sighs> One more breath. Step back. Warrior one. One more breath here. Release, make your way to down dog. Each transition, choose how you want to move. You might take a vinyasa. You might move in some other way, but feel whatever it is you are doing. From down dog, when you're ready, left leg sweeps up, bend your knee in and start circling this bent left knee. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight, send it a little higher, and then bring your left knee towards left upper arm. Reach it up and back. Take it across towards right upper arm. Send it up and back. And right towards the center of your chest. Extend it up and back. Big step forward. High lunge, arms up. Sink low. Grab your right wrist, take it over, a little side bend. Same thing other side. Back to center, interlace fingers behind your back, other thumb on top. Open up the front, feeling grounded. One more breath. Release arms up, tip forward, standing splits, hands to the floor or to a couple blocks, stretch that right leg long. Let your head release. One more breath. Big step back. Warrior one. Doing all the work of being in the shape, but letting it be relaxed as well. One more breath. Release, make your way to a good rest. Any movement transition. And then any neutral shape. 
it's useful, you might close your eyes, slowing down here. Last breath. Come back through down dog and step or hop your feet forward. Inhaling, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up to standing. Exhale, arms press down. Let's bend the knees and come into chair, Utkatasana. Hips sink low, strong core, engaging the abdominals to support length and space for your back. One more breath. Release, fold forward. Inhaling, flat back. Step or hop back, lower down. Up dog or cobra. And back to down dog. Right leg sweeps up. Step forward, high lunge. Arms up. Warrior three, shift forward and find your balance. You're welcome to modify or adjust this in any way. Supporting leg, bent or straight. Any arm position. Choose the angle of your upper body. One more breath here. Step back, warrior one. Release through your movement transition. From down dog, when you're ready, left leg sweeps up. Step forward, high lunge. Arms up. Warrior three. Consciously attending to all the details. Coming into your full expression. Feeling what that's like. And welcoming it as best you can. One more breath here. Step back, warrior one. Make your way back to a good rest. Mm. More important than the shape you choose, come back to this quality of presence and ease. One more deep breath in and out. Come back through down dog and step or hop your feet forward, inhaling flat back. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, arms up, inhale chair. Exhale, straighten. Again, inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Step or hop your feet back, lower down. Up dog or cobra. And back to down dog. Right leg sweeps up, just one breath. Step forward, high lunge. Arms up, 
Warrior three, shift forward and find your balance. One breath, step back. Warrior one. Open out, warrior two. Settling in. Flip the right palm to face the ceiling, reverse warrior two. Right arm high, left arm back. Straighten the front leg, triangle. Reach out, come down, you can bring your hand to your shin, your ankle, a block or the floor, expanding past the end points. One more breath here. Release, make your way to down dog, however you want to get there. <sighs> From down dog, when you are ready, left leg sweeps up, step forward, high lunge, arms up. Warrior three, one breath, come in, step back, warrior one, open out, warrior two. Flip the left palm to face the ceiling, reverse warrior two. Straighten the front leg, triangle. Hmm. One more breath here. And then release. Make your way back to a good rest. Five deep breaths. Let's come back through down dog and into a pigeon pose, right side. Slide the right knee forward. Scoot back through the left leg. Help the hips get as low as they'll go. And see if some support would be useful. Do you want to put a little something under your hip or chest or forehead? As you release towards the floor, check for any reactivity. There may be places you want to check in on often. Jaw, muscles around the eyes, neck and shoulders. Anything that's not needed here that you might let go of.
take our time. Bring the upper body back up. If you have something under your right hip that's in your way, move it out of your way so that you can lean to the right. Slide the left knee forward. From here, you can shift over onto the left hip and then send the right leg back. And if that didn't get you into a good pigeon pose on the left side, find your way there. You might adjust the angle of the front leg. You might set up some props. You can play around with how you have your arms so there's as little tension as possible in your neck and shoulders. Mm. Keep coming back to slow, deep breath. Keep coming back to curiosity. And slowly release, bring the upper body back up. Take your time. <sighs> if you have something under your left hip, move it out of your way so that you can lean to the left. This time bring your right foot all the way to the outside of the left knee, getting set up for a seated spinal twist. You might also do this with the bottom leg straight. Could be better one way or another, find your way. Right hand to the floor behind you. Use that to sit a little bit taller. Left arm can either hug the knee or hook to the outside of the knee. Lengthen and twist each breath. Inhales a little more length, exhales potentially more twist, even if it's just energetic imagining. One more breath here. Mm. Release, unwind, and switch. The bottom leg can be straight or bent. Left hand to the floor behind you, right arm hugs or hooks. Inhale, sit tall, exhale, twist. Last breath here. Release, unwind. Take a little windshield wiper side to side. Let the knees flop one way and then the other. As, if, as you're on one side, you might rub that hip into the floor a little bit. And then let's get set up for a supported fish. If you know how you want to do this, you can come right into it. Otherwise, I'll show a few options. I like to do this over a couple blocks. You might try that. Something is going to go behind the upper back, pretty high up. Make sure it's nowhere near the lower back where we already have a nice arch in this direction, but closer up towards the shoulder blades where you might tend to hunch forward. 
And depending on how high the thing you choose is, you might want something else supporting the head so that instead of the chin being up, the chin is dropped and the back of the neck is long. If the first thing you try isn't working, try something else. You might do a lower setting of the block. You might put a blanket or cushion over the block if you don't like the hard edges. You might roll up a towel, a blanket, or a cushion for something more gentle. It could be as soft and small as a one inch roll of a blanket or as hard or high as you like. Find the level of intensity that suits you now. Arms can be overhead or out to the side. Legs can be bent or straight. And eventually settle into stillness or settle into letting go. Notice if you're holding your weight up and see if you can release it. If you can't, might mean you've gone too intense too soon, in which case take it down a notch, something softer or smaller. If you're enjoying where you are and want to stay longer, you are welcome. This is a lovely pose to keep relaxing into. Could even be your final resting pose if you really want to stay long. If you're ready to release now or when you are, one gentle way of doing so is to interlace your fingers behind your head, lift your chin to your chest, And then lean to one elbow, moving your things out of your way. Coming down, resting, feeling the effect of where you were, how it is now. And then I'm gonna suggest a supported bridge. So for this, we're gonna lift the hips and slide something under the sacrum. Could be a block, a bolster, foam roller, a stack of books. A little bit lower than the lower back. And as low or high as you like. You might experiment with less or more height. Could stack two blocks, blocks on top of one another if you want more height. And either just settle into stillness here, or you might join me for a hip flexor stretch. Bringing your right knee to your chest. Let that straight left leg hang. Mm. Yawning open through the front of the left hip. Hmm. 
release and switch. Bring your left knee in, drop your right leg long. Squeeze this left knee in close, releasing through the front of the right hip. When you feel even on the two sides, come to neutral. So that could be both knees in, could be both feet on the floor, could be both legs straight, either up in the air or along the floor. And if you'd like to adjust the placement or height of your props, you can do so at any time. How much can you let go here? And again, this is a pose you might stay in for a while. If you're enjoying where you are, you can just keep settling in, releasing here. This could also be your final resting pose. If you're ready to come out of this, do so on your own time. Feeling each moment of your transition We are moving towards the end of class, so this would be a time to get in any last pose or stretch. I'll suggest a happy baby, opening the inner legs, releasing your back. But if there's something else you would prefer, do that. Feeling whatever you're choosing to do giving it the time it needs. And each time you finish, you can just ask yourself, how about now? What's needed now? When nothing else is needed, you can spread out. And come into Shavasana corpse pose, adding any support or adjusting your clothing or props. Letting go. Slowly 
feet begin to wiggle your fingers and toes, gently waking your body up again, increasing movement gradually. You can take a big stretch out through your arms and legs. When you're ready, bring your knees in. Roll to one side, pausing there for a moment. And use your hands to help you up to sitting. And we'll bring hands together at the heart. Namaste. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for joining me today.